Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome back. This is Eratus, Lord of the Dead. And last episode, we quite handily, quite handily dispatched the boss. I mean, frankly, it was one of the easiest fights that we probably had <laughs> in the game so far. But uh, nice, unfortunately, we gained some pretty sweet experience here. What can we do for you? Pain reflection can give you more accuracy. Or, oh, Jesus, a little bit more resistance. Hmm. I do quite like the accuracy, I think. I mean, the resistance is pretty cool, but you've got... I feel like he doesn't need it. We just really, really, really want him to land. We really, really want him to land uh, Black Light when we want him, or Black Radiance when Send he lands it. Way. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Thank you, sir. Vampire, my vampire friend. My vampire friend. Doesn't spend action. Yeah, more regeneration. Um, this ignores. They lose evasion is the difference here. And they lose accuracy. I am more interested in the accuracy debuff, but I'm more interested in the evasion debuff here. Am I? Hmm. What else? Hysteria loses 30%, 50% of its current vigor and gains. Yeah, I really don't like that. Loses 30% of its current vigor, and the vampire loses 20 vigor. I like this because it gives me the three attack, but I mean, I've, I've actually never, I'll pretty much never used this. That 50% damage is just crazy, crazy to give to them. I guess we'll just make him even beefier. Beefy boy, my beefy boy. Um, you, when we can give you some armor, ignores armor on Deadly Watch, or you gain evasion while on this stance, and I think I like that. First of all, it just gives flat up three more evasion, but if we're ever in, like, big trouble, if she's about to die, My we can just go into that. That brings us almost up to 50% evasion. Very likely to help save us. Um, I probably should have gone for one of these. Master's Robe just deals 80% damage, but doesn't do a crit. This one always inflicts a critical hit. What do we do now? Inflicts a critical hit. This one does 200% damage. Yeah, I mean, this is the way to go, I would say. I mean, then again, that's... Hmm. This did make us tankier. Guaranteeing the critical hit. Because this would give us six more... Six more on the luck. We are pretty heavy in on the luck. Interesting. But what else? we also picked up some items here. Plus one attack. Yeah, those are pretty bad. Plus two attack on the rags and one initiative. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see. We've got ourselves a fight against an unknown soldier. We don't know who that is. We can switch this stuff around. Um, I think it's safe to say. We'll gain more parts. Yes. Uh, amulet. More health, I think is quite fine. The grappling hook, I don't think we need. We, we do have the, the lancer. Let's get more parts. My Let's go for the parts there. Now, who do we want to bring in here? Also, you know, hold on. I've got to be seven, seven bones left for that. Almost at the blood phantasm as well. No idea how to lure a Dampier over to our side. We do have them here. Maybe you have to turn them into a vampire. I was going towards Dispel. Um, one of our things... Blood Curse. Spells, hexes, Maybe we have to use Blood Curse on a damp here in order to learn, lure them over to ourselves. Very much willing to do. This is actually pretty... I mean, you can use this. It actually can be very powerful. Minus 25 luck means either less crit chance for them, which I know there are some guys here who have very high crit chance, or higher crit chance for us. Gonna definitely go down that path, even if it wasn't what I wanted to do in the first place. This first fight should be pretty easy. So let's kind of take in our B team here. B team, I mean, these aren't that 
that much of a B team. They're still quite strong, I would say. Um, I want the skeleton to level up as well. You don't need to level up. She can level up more. This is a pretty solid team, mostly on the stress damage there. Though we can follow through with some actual damage too. The Lich I don't really like there. Where's my zombie? We're gonna go in with this team. And uh, you can actually just level up next turn. Okay, zombie, what do you got? We've given you more dread. More powder, 100% extra damage, block and ward, new. Plus 20 accuracy for its next attack. The bombardment. Okay. What do we want from you? I mean, jeez, you have so much resistance already. Volley, magic attack, deals 80% uh, damage. 80% damage ignores ward. Or resistance. I think we'd rather ignore the resistance. Serve me well, my... So, another resistance there. Buckshot, 80 damage to chosen target and two enemies behind it. 40% ignores armor. Or 50% and deals damage to everyone. Eight to ten is not a lot. Seven to eight is not a lot either. It's very, very low damage. But I want the health. I'll go with ignoring the armor. Probably, maybe should have gone for uh, this to just give myself more attack. But it is what it is. Can we give the Banshee some stuff? Can we give you extra attack, actually? I think I really want to. There's a record. Just a low level one is fine. Ah, the smell of success. Once every three turns, me. give us wrath. Perfect. Very happy with that. I can deal some stress damage. Actually, I made it deal stress damage, didn't I, by going this way? Because I went with the debuffing route. I do like the debuff, so I'm not unhappy with that. The skeleton I also want to level up, I think. Right, you're pretty close indeed. <sighs> if you start getting low on life, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble there. Nah, you should be fine. You can take the hits. We'll get the experience here. Um, the Banshee, Ectoplasm, Dust, Rags. We can get her some rags. We can get her some rags. Let's see what's up. Hold my work. Anything really good here? Vigor and attack, attack and initiative? No. Uh, Block, accuracy, and ward. I'm a big fan of that on you, my dear. Big fan. Perfect. The dust we can't do. This bonus to evasion. Not really appealing for anyone. I mean, you do gain uh, vigor every three turns. I mean, five percent evasion is five percent evasion. It's just not, not what I want on you. But I do use you a lot, so we'll give it to you. The zombie, we can give a plus one attack on the armor. Don't think I want to do that. Not enough to get leveled up this. Maybe we can see what kind of blue we get. Am I doing the right one? Distillation? Yes. What kind of blue? It's good enough. Plus three luck and plus two dread. Not really useful for her, I think. I mean... She does deal some stress damage. She does. But not very much. Magic attack is also pretty god awful. No. Yeah. What she needs is probably block or armor. But I don't think we're going to worry about that yet. 
The luck and the dread. It's pretty lackluster for you. And we definitely don't have enough dust. Can I make you a better weapon? We've got some weapon. We've got a fair amount of armor. To at least uh, start the path. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. What do you got? Four luck and one armor. Would mind making you a bit beefier. It's probably the best I'm ever going to really want to give you. Okay. Okay. We'll give you the armor. And the weapon, I will also take a look at. It's no goal, but it will do. The bonus evasion is not really good. What do we need? We're about to get you. you can't, we can't even see. I mean, about to. You still got some time. Also, might get you fairly soon. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's take this team in. Probably gonna go that way because we can sacrifice a level four something, which is nice. Crossbow and crossbowmen and rogue dude. Now these guys get into stances, I do believe, and these guys just hit hard. Oh, you've been blocked. You got 22 to 24. Fair amount of damage, high accuracy, crit chances exist. We will crescendo you. So that you can live. Oh, the crit makes it last for an extra turn. Yeah. We're gonna make you super beefy, as we do like to do. Um, yeah, go ahead and buff yourself up. Mm-hmm, that's fine. You are just going to um, whistling buckshot on everyone, removing the block Blow them to pieces. on most of you. That is actually... Hey, come on now, man. Come on. What's up, guys? Attack the skeleton. For God's sakes. Uh, we'll just try and go for the crits here, I guess. And we got it. Stunned him. Nice. What is the debuff? Losing evasion, I think... Uh... Might continue with the crescendo here. It's just, I mean, that's basically all she's here for. It's a little bit sad, but... Alright, the block absorbs it. You guys are just ignoring the skeleton, which is bothering me, honestly. We're gonna go for the big shot here. Actually... Yeah, let's let's more powder, and then we're gonna use the cannonball, maybe. Come on, come on, guys! Attack the skeleton! Attack the skeleton! No, you will choose to ignore the skeleton. Well, then I will choose to stun you guys. If that's what you want, fine. Maybe a stun? <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. You are weak. I'm uh, ready to blast you into smithereens. Unless you dodge, you shouldn't. Ooh, yeah, that's good damage. That is pretty good damage. And since you refuse to attack, um, we are just going to go ahead and attack you then, I guess. Just normally. Should have done the other one. Um, boo boo boo. 25 accuracy. Next attack is a critical. You can't. Well, you can. Deal some stress damage. I mean, we're already way ahead of you. I'll just go for the stress damage on you, sure. And, uh,. I can absorb your fear. Because I'm probably just going to physically murder you. In fact... We'll just do that. The crit does not... Oh, it's only uh, that... Oh, you actually got your attack? 
That's fine. Um, go ahead and use Bombardment. It actually does 200%. Oh, don't interrupt. Right, what does Bombardment actually do? Sort of in this next turn, the zombie attacks four times, doing 50% physical damage to a ran random remaining enemy. So it's actually pretty good. I mean, 200% damage. It's not bad at all. I mean, armor makes it significantly worse because it's small pieces. Okay. Small pieces of damage. Um, yeah, we're just gonna... Wow, deal so little damage. I didn't realize they had six... Yeah, just kill everyone then. Hit everyone. Go ahead. More materials. More material. Maybe I kill you? No. Yeah, that's fine. You just completely boosted up my um, wrath there. And now you get a hit a lot. Yeah, bombardment is fine again. Yes, hit the skeleton. Hit the skeleton all day. You have, uh, yeah. We're gonna go right through your armor. Do the crit and kill you. Fantastic. And maybe, uh. Did we kill you with stress? We did not. You actually get to go. And you actually attack my bride. Well, now you're probably going to die. Wow. 50% miss. He's got some dodge, though, so that does make sense. Yeah, just if he somehow lives, go for it. You can wait. You can wait. And now you can kill. Alright. For kind of a B, I mean, this, this composition, not really that uh, crazy about. No bones, which makes me a bit sad. I want to get some bones. No bones there either. Um, you have probably leveled up. Nice, you both did. Level 6! This is the one we want, right? It doesn't actually push them. They lose evasion, lose evasion. 125 damage. But it pushes them. And pushing is probably more important. Plus, only have 90% accuracy. My yeah, enemies we're definitely taking that one. Nasty and you, my friend. Mr. Skeleton here, I think. I think I want to get more attack. He's 20 bigger, they lose 30% of sanity. Or 40% for 30% vigor. Don't like that. Or a little bit more damage. No. We want we want more damage. Results. Because you really don't do a lot. 18 to 19. It's not a lot of damage. A little bit over 20. Not a whole much. Um, all right, well, let's go. We have to kind of take a look now and see which way we want to go. Do we have enough? No. Hopefully we uh, don't encounter Demp here until we can get the Blood Curse. And then we can even confirm if that is how we actually get it. I feel like we're very close here. 440. We're going to get it in this run. How soon? I don't know. Fallen Demp here. Which way? I think we are going to go uh, that way. And I'm interested in going the portal. Probably be fine. Yeah, we can get more items over there. A bunch of quests and stuff. Yeah, let's uh, let's go this way. Which means we're gonna create something. What do we have a lot of? Not much. <laughs> um, hearts. Get a lot of hearts. It doesn't really matter, does it? This is probably fine. Is that the only act? No. We'll make ourselves a Banshee. We're going to level her up to four. And we're going to go and sacrifice her. At the altar. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure the higher level that you put in here, the higher level the items you get, they are all trashed here. Okay. Well, I mean, they're all uh, common. 
Soul Gem, we've got Demonic Essence, Witchkin Sash, and a Black Heart. Nothing really that interesting, honestly. Um, so, Pooh, Pooh, Pooh. Who do we want to use now? I think I want to use him. This is our low level mummy. What about you, man? What about you? Make that much stronger? Or stronger depending on buffs and debuffs? I think I'll take the dread here. Or. Rodus gains mana or wrath. Kind of like the wrath situation. But we don't have that many ways to gain mana. So why don't I stick with that? Let's go with face the faceless here. Get back to battle. Drop him in there. Have this guy as well. The bride, I just want to level up more. Uh, same thing with the banshee. Anybody else I want to level up more? I mean, I wouldn't mind leveling up a vampire either. Not mind leveling up the vampire. But we get more evasion or accuracy. Hmm. And what do you get? Another block? That's appealing to me. Or a bit more dread. Also appealing to me. Let's use you. This seems like a pretty... I mean, pff, we have basically no physical damage there. Why don't I just stick her in here? And we'll take the vampire. Oh. How about that? He can do a fair amount of physical damage, can't you, my boy? Can't you? Surely you can. We might even be able to give you some item here. Let's uh, go and see. Evasion, we can give you more dread. I wouldn't mind giving you... What, initiative? Sure. I can take that. Uh, the dread is kind of mad. Uh, none of these are really that great for me. Just does not deal a lot. I wouldn't... I mean, giving him more... What is it? The sum of knight's armor and resistance. Armor and resistance is kind of what we want. What, what can we do to, to give him that? Armor? Yeah, sure. I'll do it. Striking a critical hit. All right, well, I'll just give him plus two armor, but that's not bad. A little bit faster now as well. If he really wants to strike a critical hit, that'll never happen. Um, anyone else not fully equipped here? Yours is striking a crit, yeah. Honestly, all this bonus initiative on you, kind of not sure about that. I'd rather have you have higher dread. What can we do to give you the higher dread? Is it the soul gem? We have a freaking soul gem. Oh, you're using one. <laughs> right, right, I got it. I, I knew that. You've got a soul gem as well with the resistance. Okay, I think we're fine here. Let's just make sure we're fully stocked up with everyone. Nope. Leveling up the Banshee. And uh, I think my timer did go off. In fact, it did. All right, so we're gonna end this. Did it really? We're gonna end the episode here. Only one fight, but a lot of talking. You know how it is. We gotta plan, you gotta strategize. Gotta strategize. So, stick around next time. We're gonna continue going on this way. Hopefully we encounter a Dampier. And uh, I didn't really say what it was, but Blood Curse, enemy loses 25 luck. If they escape, we receive a Vampire after winning the battle. You have to do this three times on anyone to unlock a Vampire. I'm assuming you have to do it specifically to uh, a Dampier. Dampier. Uh, oh, they're called Dampier. We need to learn three Dampires over to our side. And then we... Uh, so we have to use it. All right. Well, we're going to try and do that three times. 
don't know if we actually will be um, able to. You need to let them all escape. And um, before we also end, we did pick up this gambling chip. Enemies get a bit stronger. That's fine. Because we're going to be going a bit more with the stress damage here if we at all can. But we would love six bones, maybe. And that would be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, hope you guys join me next time. Until then, my name is Van the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.